Well, he's an alleged peeping Tom accused of terrorising a neighbourhood for months. That is, until a power lifter in PJs put a stop to it. I see this guy creeping in the window and I just think to myself, man, I've been hiding this guy for months. I'm not going to let him escape tonight. I'm in my pyjamas and so I just bolt out of the door. He's got a, like a 50 metre head start and I'm just running this guy down and I'm screaming at him and I can see him slowing down. Think about it! Grab him pretty much by the shoulders and grab onto his hoodie. Take him to the ground. Tim Nixon prides himself on his fitness, but he never thought he'd need it to pounce on a possible peeping Tom. And I say, you know, this is a citizen's arrest. It's the Creekwood Creeper, regularly caught on neighbourhood home security cameras on Queensland's Sunshine Coast, lurking in people's yards, peering into windows after dark. This is like the main the bathroom. You can easily see through it. Like, you can see everything, so we put boards there so you can't see anything. Tim's first encounter was six months ago. He says the man didn't just spy from the outside, he walked into the home unannounced. And I see him and I'm like, holy crap, he was in my house. And the exact same night, he was back. I went out my door to put laundry on the clothesline and he's just staring there looking at me. And he was also too quick again, he just jumped the fence. He installed security lights and fence spikes, but that didn't stop the mystery man returning again and again. Police told me, you, we, can't, we can't get him. We can't hide him. You have to do something about it. And as harsh as that sounds, he's, they're right, man. You have to step up. You have to protect your family and you have to go to serve your community, right? Which is exactly what he did last Friday night. The Creekwood Creep was seen lurking around Tim's front yard, his wife and their housemate the only ones home. A hooded figure then arriving as if he owns the place an hour later. This time Tim is home and spots the peeper peering through a window. And I'm, I just scream at him, you I'm going to catch you. As soon as he sees I see him, he bolts out this direction and I only catch a glimpse, um, glimpse of him just um, past that white car and I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, he's got a good head so I'm, uh, I'm going to have to bolt as fast as I can. He sprints after the man for roughly half a kilometre. I've run this, this street plenty of times, I'm a big runner so I wasn't going to let him slip past me this time because... Have I, you ever run it that quickly? Never ran it that quickly. I've probably hit a new PR this, this week, you know. It was in this driveway where the peep ran out of puff. So you finally get hold of him here, yeah. but then it's another 15 minutes before police arrive. Yeah, and I'm just like, man, this guy's slimy, smells like ashtrays. I don't want to touch him anymore. So I just, for like the last five minutes, I just, um, I just sit on his back and he's just, he's too gassed and he's too weak, man, and he's just pathetic. There's little kids here. Tim claims the man told him he was relieving himself in Tim's yard, but Tim believes he was there for a more sinister reason. He's not coming at 2 a.m. at night where everyone's asleep. He wants to have a glimpse or something. He wants to see some action. Officers eventually arrive around 10.30 p.m. and make their own arrest. The man police took into custody was a 28-year-old who's now been charged with trespass. He'll appear in court next month and in the meantime, investigators are looking into reports of similar incidents in the area. This stuff can't be just dealt with a slap on the wrist. This good stuff has to be dealt with properly. There are a number of security camera clips posted online by some of Tim's neighbours showing a person in the area. We're right next to a primary school in a daycare centre. It's literally 50 metres away. It's not OK. This is a family community. And this stuff, if it go, gets out of hand, you need to nip it in the butt before it gets out of hand, you know? He sure picked the wrong house, didn't he? And anyone who has footage of the Creekwood Avenue creep is asked to report it to police.